What is going on everyone? I am Nux Pro and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov quest guide. This guide will be for a shooter born in heaven specifically on the map reserve. In this video, I'm going to show you clips of me completing the quest. I'm going to go in game and show you the best spots with detailed information on what you're looking for at each spot. If you're struggling with this quest on other maps, there is a playlist link in the description with my guides to customs and shoreline. A lot of views and a lot of comments of people saying those videos really help them complete the quest. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We're almost at 14,000 subscribers and our next video will be the shooter born in heaven guide on the map woods. Now that all the intros are done, let's help you become the shooter born in heaven mother. All right, so there's a map on the screen separating the map into four areas. There'll be timestamps to each area in case you want to either skip ahead or you want to come back to this video in the future and find the spots more easily. We are in the dome area right now. Obvious, that's the dome. There's also going to be the helicopter area, which is over there. There's the middle area, which is the middle. And then over there into the yonder we have the uh, train station area. And of course, that's a train station right there. Of course, it's a tad foggy today, but the weather is actually pretty good. So we're in the dome area. Let me show you my favorite and what I think is one of the best spots to get this quest completed. I really like this rock and this rock puts you in great position to look into the RB AK room. Here's two clips of me getting two back-to-back -back kills from this spot. Let's go, boy. So from here, you're looking at a 200 meter shot. So obviously you're going to have to adjust for that. I know for an M700, if you put your crosshair just at the tippy top of their head, it should drop into their head. Um, but yeah, RBAK room, great spot. Uh, people will also be uh, running up here because there's some loot up here. So if they stop for a second, that's a good opportunity to get that shot as well um and then when they drop down another opportunity when they're in the actual room another opportunity and usually when they're done looting the room they'll jump back out the window and they'll move this way uh, giving you one more opportunity to get that 100 meter headshot so let's continue on with the dome area now there's a lot of little areas you can actually go um in this area so you can be a little more creative like you could go here if you wanted um you kind of got eyes into the room from that angle this also gives you an angle down the road here if somebody that's the hermetic door alarm if someone who rings that usually they'll push this way or they'll push that way obviously you won't get a 100 meter headshot there but if you can create enough distance maybe you'll get one over there as we make our way up to the dome another opportunity here most people aren't looking down this window but um you're pretty much just hoping to catch a player back here or um if someone hits the alarm running across the road or right there is a is another good sniping spot you can counter snipe someone there now another good spot again it's not the greatest because you're only going to really get people probably running in this open field at the beginning of the raid. Um, but if you do spawn in this area and you want to come here, you might get the guy that is looting the uh, mark room over there moving across here. Or you can catch the player that actually spawned here. Maybe they're dilly dallying. You know, they're checking the tank for an Asa or something. Um, that's the only time you can really get a shot here. But no one's ever really going to be looking here. And um, if you can get here at the beginning of the raid, this is a, a good spot to at least get one opportunity. Now let's move up to everyone's favorite spot, the dome. Now, I really don't like this spot for um, a lot of reasons. 
it is great because it covers the whole entire map right you can see everything now things to keep in mind when you're up here uh, i'm gonna go up up there in a second but um if anyone else is sniping on the map they're gonna look up here so you are kind of exposed and you're kind of in an obvious spot so you need to keep that in mind and also if you are new to the game or you have trouble sniping this wouldn't be a good spot for you because you are looking at really far shots um so you need to keep that in mind you're looking at some 300 meter shots in some locations so if you're not comfortable sniping in this game i wouldn't recommend coming up here you know i would stick to the the rock right there that i just showed you and i'm going to show you obviously a, a few more spots and um you can also come up to the tippy tippy top of the dome i don't know why i went that way but here we are tippy top of the dome again just like the the uh catwalk down there whatever you can see the whole entire map again you are pretty exposed um you're very obvious to other people sniping you do have eyes into the rbak room um it definitely would be an easier shot over there though you got eyes on the road here you can see so if someone's in this is kind of a popular sniping tower um for people that just spawn so you have eyes over there you have eyes above the bunkers here um you have eyes to the field over here um and then obviously you have eyes on white horsey here and people moving across the buildings here i mean you can see the whole map again i went over the reasons why i don't like it um they're far shots and uh you are exposed but if you if you consider yourself a decent sniper um this is a great spot welcome to the helicopter area so first spot this is an absolutely amazing spot so you thought the little spot i showed you on the rock was good this one's even better you come up to the second floor here and look at this perfect eyes into that rbak room um this is around 100 meters on the dot so great opportunity um you can't really see too well into the room upstairs but it can't get any easier than this spot right here and then if they jump down you can uh try to get your headshot if they're moving across this way all right we are at black pawn now by no means am i saying this is a spot that you're gonna sit here and watch all raid but if you hear some commotion in the back over here which happens once in a while um you know people kill gluhar and they're making their way um around the map to get up to the uh red rebel extract or if you hear somebody on the uh machine gun or the uh grenade launcher over here um good spot to get a 100 meter headshot maybe a fight's going on and the guy's looting uh, a body a uh, good opportunity no one's ever going to look at you in that window over there you can come up to this window as well get a little more elevation and you can also come up to the roof and get eyes down into this corner pretty much uh the only place you're gonna get a good opportunity here on black pawn so these are the last spots i'm gonna cover for the helicopter area um first one is this tank it's just another way to get eyes into the rbak room just from the reverse side um so that's a thing i mean you can come here I'm here and then this little brick building um i like here again eyes into the rbak room this room's gonna be one of your best shots of getting this quest done because almost always somebody's gonna be in there at, at the beginning of the raid so if you spawn here i would come over here and just watch that room the guy that spawns over there is most likely gonna go through this way 
This spot's also good because you can uh, get eyes on the hill here. So again, if you spawn here, you can come up here. Usually the guy that spawns there is going to loot the mark room and they're usually going to push this way. So um, there's a weapon crate there. Maybe get a shot there. We are now in the middle area. So this spot's only good right off spawn. So if you spawn like in this area here, you can come up to the sniper tower. You got eyes usually on the person that spawns here moving across um, into the building here. Sometimes they'll push this way, which would be great. And then you can try to take your 100 meter headshot. Or if you can get eyes on the uh, grenade launch, somebody on the grenade launcher. Again, this is probably only going to work when you, uh, when you first spawn into the raid. If you hear somebody hit the hermetic door button, sometimes they will make their way down this road. If you are comfortable and can, uh, you can attempt a, a pretty far shot across the map. If you think somebody's sniping at the dome or in the side of the mountain here. And you also, you got eyes on uh, a little on top of the hermetic uh, bunkers. The last spot we're going to go over in the middle area is the queen building here. There's a spawn in this building. So usually you spawn in this um, you know, room. Instead of looting all the toys, you want to get to the roof as fast as possible. So that's what we're going to do. And when I get to the roof, I'm going to show you a clip of me getting a hundred meter headshot from here. So this is only going to work at the beginning of the raid. You want to scan. You're scanning over here for players that just spawned in. You're scanning here to see if you can counter snipe somebody. You are scanning the whole dome area um, to counter snipe. And let's roll that clip. We are now in the train station area. Now, this area kind of sucks. There's really not too many spots, but if you spawn here, like there's a spawn here, I get up to the sniper tower as soon as possible. And you're praying that the guy that spawns over here and he goes into the mark room in this building pushes this way and you can get the hundred meter headshot. It's rare that that person's going to push this way. They're usually going to push that way. Um, you got eyes on on top of the hermetic bunker again you're not you're not looking at an easy shot and usually they're going to be running on the other side of the bunker so you're probably not going to have a shot anyway um if you spawn here you're kind of screwed i will say though in the middle of raids i do so this area is only good in like the first five minutes but in middle raids if you do find yourself coming across here for whatever reason Take a look at this little brick um, building here. Sometimes you find people um, up here uh, trying to either kill raiders or, or Gluhar. So that is uh, one opportunity. But for the most part, um, you're not going to find too much action here. We are at the last spot. We are on top of the train station. The only reason you'll come up here is if you suspect uh, sniper is in this tower here or you suspect somebody is sniping here this is just a counter sniping spot you're really not going to find any more use of this spot sometimes you will catch a player on the hill um, especially if they're using the uh, lmg or the grenade launcher whatever it is over there but besides that that's the only use you're going to find of this spot. And that is it. Those are the best spots for a shooter born in heaven on the map reserve. It may not seem like a lot of spots. Like if you saw my customs video, uh, there's a lot of spots in customs. It's a 30 minute video, but reserves a smallish compact map with a lot of insides that make it um, difficult 
for you the sniper but if you this video helped you at all please leave a like and consider subscribing again we're almost at 14,000 subscribers the next video will be the shooter born in heaven guide for the map woods if this video helped you complete the quest please let me know in the comments and if you have any constructive criticism i always appreciate that leave a comment for that as well but good luck on becoming the shooter born in heaven thanks for watching